Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Today I'm bringing you an in-depth character review of Little Batty. As you can see up here on the screen, I have my Little Batty uh, up on the left and my the Trumgar from my uh, test account, my uh, whale text account on the right. And today I want to talk to you why I believe that Little Batty is the best tank in the game and just go over everything with your most people who've been playing the game now have unlocked her at seven stars she is quite an amazing character so i want to go over the reasons why i believe she is the best tank in the game i know this is going to be controversial because trumgar is such an amazing tank uh, i think that he is pretty awesome in fact he is a great tank um and some people may say they're tied i give it to little batty right now because of her synergies with soleus um and her ability to reduce turn meter but i'll go into more of that in depth and in detail but let's talk about uh, let's talk about miss uh batty here so little batty is now she's as you can see if we pull her up right if we pull up both of them all right my count over here order human and defender all right the new update order human defender and gladiator so she's now going to be a gladiator um and so if we we understand that she's now a gladiator which gives her a, a lot of props her health is a little bit low she does have the lowest health of all the of all of the tanks in the game her shields are one of the highest at thirty-five thousand five fifty. um her base physical armor's pretty good and her magic armor, it is lower than Trumgar. There's no doubt about that. Uh, when we flip over to Trumgar here at 41.99 and 39.01, hers are lower, 37.01 and 32.01. But she does more physical damage than him um, by about 300. Um, the 330 roughly to 2851. Her crit chance is 2398 as opposed to Trumgar's 18%. And uh, her speed, she is faster than Trumgar by five. But what makes her better, in my opinion, than Trumgar is not um, is not because they're both individually great characters. They are. They're both tier one characters. Remember what I call a temporary character? Tier one characters are characters that are standalone by themselves that are just amazing. And she is that. When you combine her with Soleus, uh, that's <laughs> when you combine her with Soleus, she becomes exceptional and then she becomes meta defining. Um, and so that, that really pushes her over the top. Uh, the synergies, she doesn't have synergies or drum guard on the other hand doesn't have synergies with soleus he's just good at what he does but she's good at what she does and then you combine her with soleus and she's just even better and so she ends up becoming what i would consider meta defining um in fact i think there are several videos past i said that you know when people she becomes seven stars available when people start playing her i believe that she would become the meta tank um and i still do and let's go into one of some of the reasons why let's look at her first ability for the emperor deals 180 percent of physical damage to an enemy and has an 80 percent chance to decrease the target's turn meter by 25 percent this is really, really good. She has an 80% chance to decrease the target's turn meter by 25%. Uh, she does really, really well in phase one of the raid with, uh, with being able to re reduce turn meter. When you're talking about putting her on a, on a, on a team uh, on arena, her ability to decrease turn meter when hit is fantastic. She does have a critical, ch or she does have a a chance to counterattack, and as somebody had pointed out earlier to me, well, if someone counterattacks, um, then they're not going to have any turn meter when she hits them. That is true, except for when it, it isn't. And so, when you're looking at the demons that are coming up, um, as we talked about with Gorum and that sort of thing, uh, early in my earlier video, where people are going to start gaining increased turn meter when they hit and when they critical hit her counterattack chance in theory i'm not tested it yet but in theory her counter they will gain that turn meter and then she will attack um reducing the turn meter which is pretty well negates the turn meter gain so if we talk about 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Slinger, not Gorum. I misspoke. So when you're talking about Slinger, in my video that I just had just a few days, or just earlier today, um, one of his abilities is that all allies gain, when they critical hit, they're going to gain 5% turn meter um, on a critical hit. Now, I have not tested this yet. I don't know, but in theory, right, if they were to hit critical, gain 5% turn meter, and she counterattacks and removes that, it just negates it. Um, and so that makes her really 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 interesting it is a as a tank that can remove terminator now it may not work that way it may be that they attack crit she attacks and then they gain 25 percent turn meter or they, then they gain five percent turn meter i apologize then they gain their turn meter then if that's the case then she won't work but in my mind right now i think and i like i said i'm not sure but if it works that way she's already a counter to gaining turn meter right and so when you match her up with soleus with the with the counter attack chance that she gets from soleus which we'll go ahead and just look at real quick um you know we we know that soleus gives um counter attack chance to humans i can't remember off the top of my head exactly how much that is um but let's see here uh, they gain 10% counter chance all, all you know, so it's not a lot, but it is something uh, It is something that they do have uh, And that sort of thing. So when you're talking about combining these two together, all right, that's really really that's really really beneficial So let's go back to little baddie here on my account where I have her uh, So this is currently where I have her at. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, we're, when I'm when I'm trying to when I'm thinking about these sorts of things, sometimes I'm not as clear as I need to be um, with what I'm talking about when I'm just thinking about turn meter reduction. But when you're talking about PvP and you're talking about characters who are going to get more, they're going to gain turn meter while attacking, um, or just gain turn meter because of their leadership and that sort of stuff. Her ability to counterattack may end up doing very, very well there. Uh, so that's the core to think. She also has an 80% chance to decrease the turn meter's turn. When you're talking about Trumgar, he's 35% chance to stun. Uh, it's just she just has more turn meter reduction is really, really nice. Stun chance is great. Don't get me wrong. Stunning them means they just don't take a turn. Um, and so that's really, really nice, too. And it's super beneficial. But we're talking when we're talking about decreasing turn meter, um, we're slowing the opponent down. Obviously, a stun will also do the same thing. Um, but it really will, it really does change the tide of battle. So we're talking about his next ability, Shield Throw. Deals 260% physical damage to an enemy. Also attacks two random enemies, dealing 130% physical damage to them. Dealing damage with this ability removes a buff. Little bad against Taunt for two turns. So first, first turn Taunt that can remove buffs. So in my playtesting uh, with her and my play with her, I find that having her be a little bit slower is not a bad thing. You almost want their taunt, their tank to taunt before you. And so having your little baddie a little bit slower is not a bad thing because you want her to, you want that other taunt, that tank to taunt. And then when you hit her with, when you do your taunt, you're going to strip the taunt off of the tank. That allows you to actually bring in another damage dealer. Um, into your lineup instead of having to bring in uh, cruel to be able to viz that tank so in the in the upper meta so kind of keep that in mind so this is what i'm talking about when i'm saying that she is meta defining she had does things that other characters that she does the job of other characters combined with um being her tank and that's the other thing so i mean cruel can actually be dropped out of the team you can put in ember or something like that and i'll kind of show you guys that here in a minute um but you got but you gotta have you gotta make sure that she's slower than the tank on the other side otherwise that doesn't work um, let's go on to her third ability a sunlight here deals 190% physical damage to all enemies and a 30% chance to inflict blindness for two turns. This is a you know something you can do on turn three, right? Blindness is really really good. You're talking about um, just not being able to hit at all, um, and you're talking characters such as. Um, sharp um characters that do multiple hits uh sharp uh shaolin 
uh, those types of characters, they, they just miss everything. And so if you land this ability, it can really turn the tide of battle as well in your family. And of course, it is RNG dependent, um, but it's a 30 percent chance to do it. Uh, and so it's really, really interesting. Anytime I'm when I'm playing with her and she, she puts blindness on someone, it can stop from it can stop from you getting just blown up by an IDL or that sort of thing. Sure, it's a little RNG dependent, but it's there. But it does 190% physical damage to all enemies, so that you're doing you're doing a good bit of damage, and she has an increased physical damage anyway. And so it does it does a good bit of damage, and it's no joke uh, when you're having to deal with it on the other side. And then her last ability here is Flawless Defense. Little Batty survives a fatal blow, protecting herself uh, with the shields equal to 30% of her mass, max, maximum health. Any shields, any effects uh, that she had on her are removed, so if they kill her, her taunt will go away. Uh, and this can be triggered only once per battle. So, obviously, when you're looking at, you know, ruining her uh, and that sort of stuff and putting the runes on her, you might want to think about using health here. I actually find that using shields shields um and, you know in your northwest slot and that sort of thing is the way to go but you you want to see if you have some extra health percentages in there because it will help her overall so let's go ahead and um, you know pull up my little baddie here and see how i have her currently ruined um i am looking at potency in the northwest um in the northwest slot i am running two potency runes here i do want her potency to be high because she's run, running a lot of different abilities i'm going with health here because i want her health up all right we 30 percent of her max health right but then i'm running shields in places where i can where i you know here um on the on the north on the sorry on the south what is that southwest rune and the southern rune um, running shields and then armor and then i am running speed here um, so this is why i think little batty is the best tank currently in the game i really do believe that she is a tier one character uh she's now a gladiator human and defender she just does so many things in one character that can really help you out in your farm she's a completely free to play uh, character all you have to do is make sure you're doing her events every three days uh, to get her it takes roughly about 90 or so days uh, from the start to get her uh, but she is phenomenal uh, she really is a free-to-play um, character uh, that can help you out and really cause a human team to be really really good and she can be plugged and played with a lot of different area a lot of different other areas just as a great tank so if you like what you saw please hit that subscribe button hit that like video uh, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> So these are the reasons why I believe Little Batty is the best tank in the game currently. Her and Trumgar, I mean, if you have Trumgar and you've got him maxed all the way out, he's going to be great. Little Batty's going to be great. She's going to help you with your tank event as well. Um, she's going to help you in tower. She's going to be able to help you in arena. Um, and she's just, even at five stars, six stars, she's going to be quite good for you um, if you are playing this game free to play and you really really need a tank uh, you're getting you're stuck on those defender challenges uh, that are really really difficult to deal with uh, she will help you in that regard as well and she will help you currently in the current meta of the game and I believe that she is going to be able to help a good bit with turn meter reduction against demons because theoretically speaking again it looks as if their demons or other allies uh, with slinger are going to be getting a lot of turn meter so she's going to be able to hit that turn meter reduction of course she's got you know she's a human and you have soleus of course which is the best character in the game you have freezard which is going to reduce turn meter you're going to have her reducing turn meter and having blindness um, so it's really really interesting i think this is, she's going to be a huge benefit to anybody who's got her unlocked and anybody who's willing to move her up uh, and that sort of thing. That's why I've invested in her. I would encourage you to do that. I think that she is a great tank um, and you're not going to go wrong with doing that. If you are new around here and you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button completely free. Uh, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment down below, and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.